At the beginning of the 21st century, we experienced a technological revolution, including exciting new developments in vaccines. At the same time, we were witnessing millions of the poorest children dying tragically because they weren't receiving even the most basic vaccines. Global champions and experts in child health rallied to find a solution. And from this, a radical new idea was born, an innovative way to help provide children with the latest and most effective vaccines, no matter where they lived. This idea was to become Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. One of its first successes was with hepatitis B vaccines in China, which at the time had a major problem with liver disease. Following this, we were able to widen access to the 5-in-1 pentavalent vaccine designed to increase routine immunization. By helping to stimulate competition and creating innovative financing mechanisms, Gavi has helped to drive down vaccine prices and promote sustainability. This has accelerated the introduction of new vaccines, such as those that protect against the biggest childhood killers, diarrhea and pneumonia. The Vaccine Alliance has helped protect more than half a billion children. Gavi now also helps protect young women from cervical cancer through human papilloma virus vaccines. But this story is not over. With help from donors and partners, we can go further, vaccinating hundreds of millions more children and saving millions of lives for years to come. Together, we can reach every child. Together, we are Gavi. Before commenting on the, on the um, short video which we have seen, I just want to, to inform you um, about the decision of the European Central Bank, uh, which just came out uh, a minute ago. So the, the um, um, uh, decision is to buy asset uh, purchasing uh, to an amount of 60 billion euros per month starting in March 2015 and the program lasts until September 2016. But coming back to the, to the film and to the video, I'm very proud because Gavi was born here in Davos 15 years ago. It's one of the initiatives which you make possible through collaboration between the public and the private sector. Since its inception in 2000, 15 years ago, Gavi has helped humanize nearly 500 million children, saving 6 million lives. And over the next five years, the goal is to increase, to immunize an additional 300 million children and increase from 5 to 50 percent the number who receive all 11 vaccines recommended by the World Health Organization. And under the patronage, and that's the reason why it is so appropriate to show this video after the discussion with Chancellor Merkel, because under the patronage of Chancellor Merkel, the Gavi meeting hosted by the German government in Berlin next week will special, specifically focus on meeting those ambitious goals. I would now like uh, to invite Dr. Seth Berkeley, the Chief Executive Officer of Gavi, to the stage. And we thank him for the achievement over those many years. As Klaus said, the big problems of the world will not be solved by the UN, by government, by private sector acting alone. They require new and effective partnerships that can tap the best of the public and private sectors and be learning efforts that constantly innovate. So thank you, Klaus, for those kind words and for your leadership as Davos was the perfect place to launch Gavi 15 years ago. Gavi's mission is to save lives and protect health by increasing access to immunization in the poorest countries in the world. It has a unique business model. 
We target the 73 poorest countries where the need is greatest. Each country pays something for their vaccines. If you're very poor, you pay a little. As you get richer, you pay more until you cross an economic threshold and you graduate from Gavi's support. Because we're purchasing vaccines for 60% of the world's children, we can use our market position to negotiate better prices and create a healthy and reliable marketplace for new producers at prices that are sustainable and affordable. Today, I'm pleased to announce a milestone in access to vaccines. In just 15 years, half a billion children have been reached with Gavi-supported vaccines. These are in the poorest countries, some of the hardest to reach places on earth, and this has directly contributed to preventing more than 7 million deaths. Over the coming years, we expect more than 20 countries will transition from Gavi support and continue to provide an expanded range of vaccines routinely to their children with their own resources. And as Klaus has mentioned, in just a few days' time, Chancellor Merkel, as part of her G7 presidency, will host a global immunization conference in Berlin, where we hope to raise, raise an additional $7.5 billion to fund the next five-year strategy to increase vaccine coverage and immunize 300 million additional children, preventing another five to six million deaths, with, uh, resulting in more than $80 billion in economic benefits. We are immensely grateful for the confidence that she and other world leaders have shown in the Gavi enterprise. To continue this journey, we have to level, leverage the best technology, engage the best minds from across the world of business, science, and technology. We are committed to ensuring that the amazing powers of vaccines reaches every child everywhere. And with your help, I believe we can do that. So thank you for your support. Thank you for what the forum has done for us. And we invite all of you to join us on this, in this journey.